Hello guys, this is Abhishek Mandre. As I have uh, recorded my last video before one and a half month, uh, so I have started again to recording my videos. Today, uh, in my last video tutorials, we have seen that we have seen the globalization plugin in PhoneGap. As you can see in my YouTube account here is the last video that is the globalization plugin in android as well as in ios okay today i'm gonna show you how we can use the file plugin and this is the most important plugin in android application okay you can download from the apache slash cordova dash plugin file okay just google you will find it or otherwise just go to the phonegap.com here you will get uh, the list of official phonegap plugins okay uh, today i'm going to talk about the file plugin only for android and my later video tutorial you can find it on ios as well okay so uh, first of all let me introduce what is cordova plugin okay uh, file plugin if you want to access the storage of your mobile application okay for example uh, I want to access my uh, internal memory or the SD card memory okay if you want to create a file writing a file then you have to use the Cordova file plugin okay without this you cannot access your internal storage or the external storage of your mobile application okay through the application for that you have to download the Cordova plugin okay for the downloading you can access the Cordova plugin add org.apache.cordova.file okay and uh, after you can see over here I have created a simple project uh, created a new application after that uh, created a platform as Android and after that added a plugin that is the Apache cordova.file. Okay, and uh, if you can see this, okay, in my manifest, the required permission will automatically add it to your project. Okay, just go to the permission tab. Here you can access the internal user permission as well as write external storage permission. This is uh, this is what the plugin automatically does. You don't you do not need to do uh, this kind of stuff. Just for information, I'm showing you this okay now just coming back to the okay there are multiple platforms supported by this plugin like Amazon OS Android iOS Firefox Windows Windows 8 browser etc etc but today I'm going to show you only the Android layout okay we are interested in Android layout okay normally you can access all the features of uh, this plugin by using the cordova.file and dot after that uh, the particular object whatever you want to access right uh, suppose you want to get the uh, application directory then you have to use the application directory that means the cordova dot file dot application directory okay that means the where uh, the location of your installed application right after that same way uh, if you want to access the uh, storage directory of your applications then the application storage directory cache directories data directories external root directories external application storage directories external cache directories external data directories okay for this uh, I have created one simple example let me show you yes here okay first of all I have a uh, simply implement my cordova.js file it's a basic thing and after that I have created a function called first okay and before that uh, I have created a, a seven buttons uh, when I click on a button I'll call a first method by passing a parameter one two three four sequence okay suppose user clicks on a first button I want to access the application directory okay for that I have uh, just write the cordova dot file dot application directory but okay uh, you have to remember one thing uh, before using this you have to add the file plugin otherwise this will not work okay now I'm gonna 
run this application okay 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 guys this is uh, these are the my seven buttons now when I click on application directory uh, it uh, returns me the application directory that is file triple slash Android assets okay and after that if I want to get the storage directory then this is the data data dash com dot info logs okay if I want to see this location then I can go to the DDMS and uh, after that data data and uh, my info logs after that this is the my data location okay after that the cache directory you can see over there the cache directory is available okay and uh, same way data directory was also available that is data data com dot dash files this is my data directories okay and after that you can also access the document directory in it okay by giving the uh, slash documents name external root directory that gives me the storage emulated zero directory okay uh, that is coming with the one sec one sec let me check okay just go to shell emulated zero and after that this is the your external directory right after that external application storage directory that is uh, zero android data that is android data info logs okay here you can access the cache as well as files okay here i have only access the files okay as well at once you can use the internal as well as external data storage for your application right guys now this is the most uh, important plugin while developing any uh, you can say any android applications because you have to work with your external sd cards as well as in internal uh, memory for storage your applications for writing applications the time this plugin will be a most useful thing okay guys and uh, that's it for uh, the file plugin and one more thing I would like to tell you that uh, I'm getting a lots of emails from you guys uh, to resolve your issues but uh, I don't have enough time to uh, complete all the requests so I'll complete the request as as uh, what I can say that uh, if I got enough time to complete uh, to record the new videos I'll definitely do that and thank you so much for your response and for your valuable feedbacks thank you so much uh, and don't forget to watch my next videos too and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get lots of video tutorial regarding the iOS, PhoneGap, ASP.NET, PHP Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.